kids, welcome to my channel. My name is Lizzie. I hope you're doing well, feeling good, and ready to learn about America's 50 states. We're going to get details about each individual state one at a time in alphabetical order. It's going to take a little bit, so if you need a drink, a snack, if you got to go potty, now would be a good time to hit the pause button. If not, we'll get right into it. America's 50 states. Let's start with Alabama. The capital of Alabama is Montgomery. It became the 22nd state on December 14, 1819. The wildflower, or the oak leaf hydrangea, is the flower for that state. Their state bird is a yellow hammer. Regular flower is a camilla? camilla? I think that's how it's The insect is a monarch butterfly. Ooh, my favorite. And their fruit is blackberry. Okay, so what kind of work are, what are they known for? We have iron, steel, and ore production. They're known for alligators. Um, their southern longleaf pine trees and their state flag. Okay, this is what their state flag looks like. These are the trees they're known for. They're known for alligators. They're more of an industrial. They make steel and iron and ore, which is very important to building. Um, they're a big part of the rocket industry. They mostly have poultry and egg production. Did you know the first rocket that put humans on the moon was built in Huntsville, Alabama? Nice! Often called the Heart of Dixie for its southern heritage, the state of Alabama is mostly plains with northern mountains and the second largest inland waterway system in the United States. Birmingham is home to the Vulcan, which is the world's largest cast iron statue at 56 feet tall weighing 120,000 pounds. The city of Magnolia Springs delivers mail by boat in the, the only all-water mail route in the U.S. That's pretty cool. All right, let's move on to Alaska. The capital is Juneau. It became the 49th state on January 3rd, 1959. It's nicknamed the Last Frontier. The bird is a willow par parmington. Par Parmignan? I don't know how to spell, say that. Um, their fossil is a woolly mammoth. Their mineral is gold. And their official sport is dog mushing or dog sled racing. Their state flag looks like that. Oops, my finger's on it. You see it? It's got a little star. Okay, what are they known for? Moose. And moose are very aggressive. They're actually pretty scary. I would never suggest going up to a moose. They will chase you for miles. Um, Pacific salmon, salmon is what they're known for. Um, they also have polar bears here. Um, they're known for their gold. A lot of people go there to for gold mining. And Mount McKinley they're known for. Also, other popular cities are Fairbanks and Anchorage. Did you know Alaska was purchased from Russia in 1867 for under two cents an acre? Wow, that's pretty cheap. <laughs> Alaska is America's largest and most northern state. It is almost as wide as the continental United States. It is made up of ice fields, tundra, mountains, water bodies, and glaciers. There are more than 3 million lakes in Alaska. It has 17 of America's 20 highest mountains, including Mount McKinley, the highest peak in America at 20,320 feet. Woo, that's really high up. Ready to go to a warmer place? Let's talk about Arizona. The capital of Arizona is Phoenix. It became the 48th state on February 14, 1912. The reptile is an Arizona rigid nose rattlesnake. Yikes. Their tree is Apollo Verde. Their gem is turquoise. Their fossil is petrified wood. And their neckwear is a boa tie. 
Get it? Boa constrictor. <laughs> Their state flag looks like that. It's pretty cool, right? I like that one. What are they known for? They have the Grand Canyon in their state. They're known for cowboys and having ranches, um, Sakura cactuses, the barrier meter crater where the dinosaur meter struck. Other cities that are well known are Tucson, Phoenix, and Flagstaff. Kitt Peak National Observatory is also famous. That's where they look up at space trying to find aliens. <laughs> Arizona is home to many America's Wild West stories, including the gunfight in the OK Corral and the battles with Indian chiefs Geronimo and Cochise. Arizona is also home to many of nature's greatest wonders, including a one mile deep Grand Canyon. The beautiful colors of the painted desert and the petrified forest, where wood has turned to stone. You will also see many different kinds of prickly cactuses in the hot and dry Arizona deserts. Did you know the world's largest solar telescope is located at Kit Peak National Observatory in the city of Sal? So they hold the world's largest telescope. That's awesome. Let's move on to Arkansas. The capital is Little Rock. My grandparents live in Arkansas. I've been there several times. It became the 25th state on June 15, 1836. Their instrument is the fiddle. Their insect is the honeybee, which can actually kill me. I'm allergic to bees. Are you allergic to bees? Their flower is an apple blossom, which is very pretty. Their gem is a diamond. Ooh la la. Their tree is a pine tree. Their fruit is vine-ripe pink tomatoes, and their beverage is milk. That is their state flag, and it actually says Arkansas in it. What are they known for? Their natural hot springs, which is very good for your skin. They're known for honeybees and honey farms. They're known for diamonds and gems. They're known for producing milk, poultry, and eggs. Other cities that they're known for they're known for is Jonesboro and Fort Smith and of course Little Rock. They're specifically known for agate, diamond, and quartz. Did you know the first fried dill pickles ever sold were made at the Duchess Drive-In at Atkins in 1963? A fried pickle? Hmm. Interesting. America's only diamond mine is in Arkansas, nicknamed the Natural State. Any diamonds, amethyst, garnet, jasper, agate, and quartz that you find at the crater of Diamond State Park, you can keep. The Ozark Mountains are another natural wonder. That's where my grandparents live. They're beautiful up there. They are made of limestone that wears away easily and creates unusual features such as Arkansas's many sinkholes, caves, underground streams, and hot springs. So there we go. I think that's all the A's. Ready to move on to the next letter in the states, which is C? Let's talk about California. The capital is Sacramento. It became the 31st state on September 9th, 1850. Their mammal is a grizzly bear. Their bird is the California Valley quail. Their flower is a golden poppy. Their tree is the California redwood, redwood, which are big, beautiful trees, super, super tall. Their fossil is saber-toothed cat. And their rock is serpentine, which is actually used in a lot of flooring in people's houses. Did you know up to 370 feet tall, the world's tallest and oldest trees are in the redwood forest? One redwood tree in California is over 2,200 years old. Some trees are big enough to drive through. What are they known for? Gold. They're also known for their Death Valley Desert, um, av avocado farming, turkey production, and they're known for, of course, Hollywood. Other cities they're known for is Sa San Francisco and Los Angeles. 
The third largest state, California, was nicknamed the Golden State after thousands of people called 49ers. After thousands of people called 49ers went there to find gold in 1849. More people live in California than any other state in the nation. Your favorite actor or actresses probably lives in Hollywood, where many movies and TV shows are made. At 282 feet below sea level, Death Valley in the Mojave Desert is the lowest and driest point in North America. That's their state flag, by the way. <laughs> right up there with the little bear on it. They're so teeny. Alright, let's go on to Colorado. The capital of Colorado is Denver, and it became the 38th state on August 1st, 1876. Their animal is the bighorn sheep. <laughs> their flower is the Rocky Mountain columbine, and their tree is the Colorado blue spruce, which is beautiful, and a lot of people use blue spruces for Christmas trees around here. Their fossil is a stegosaurus, and their gemstone, gemstone is aquamarine. Did you know the Royal Gorge is one of the world's highest suspension bridges at a height of 1,053 feet over the Arkansas River near Cannon City in Colorado? That's their state flag right there. It's got a cute little C on it. What are they known for? Their suspension bridges, bighorn sheep, their oldest wooden merry-go-round in the United States, and of course the Rocky Mountains and others. Um, big cities that they're known for is Colorado Springs, of course Denver, and the Grand Junction, Colorado. Colorado is known for the Great Rocky Mountains that pass through, that pass through it as a part of the Continental Divide, a vast mountain range that runs 3,000 miles from Canada to Mexico. Colorado is from a Spanish word for red, and was named for its red land. The Red Rocks is a large open air theater surrounded by giant red rocks. Colorado has huge cattle farms and many snow covered mountains for winter sports like skiing. My dad actually lived there. He moved there when my mom and dad first got married a very, very long time ago. <laughs> Let's go on to Connecticut, which is very close to me. The capital is Hartford. It became the fifth state on January 9th in 1788. Its nickname is the Constitution State because that's where the Constitution was pretty much born. <laughs> the bird is American Robin, which we have all around here. The insect is a praying mantis. They're very creepy looking. You should look that up. Their, sh their shellfish is eastern oyster and their tree is charter oak. Their song is Yankee Doodle. I'm sure you've heard that. Yankee Doodle went to town riding on his pony or something like that. That's their state flag right there. All right, what are they known for? Ooh, inventing the hamburger. I like them already. For cattle and pig branding. Boo, I don't like branding animals. They're known for their steel mills and America's oldest public library. Some of the cities you might have heard for, of heard of, of course, is Hartford, the capital. Then you have New Haven and Bridgeport. The name Connecticut comes from the Native American word Quinetiquit, which means beside the long tidal river. Connecticut is called the Constitution State and is one of the America's first 13 states. The famous authors Noah Webster and Mark Twain both lived and wrote there. Ooh, let's go on to Delaware. The capital is Dover. It became the first state, which was the first ever state in United States history on December 7th, 1787. Their bird is a blue hen. Their wildlife animal is a gray fox. Their insect is the ladybug. Their marine animal is the horseshoe crab. Their beverage is milk and their fruit is strawberry. I love strawberries, my favorite. That's what their state flag looks like, right there. What are they known for? Their steam train. They invented the steam train and strawberries, of course. Other cities that you might know of besides Dover is Newark and Wilmington. 
Delaware is called the first state because it was the first of the original 13 colonies to accept the U.S. Constitution. It is the second smallest state in America, only nine miles wide at one point. Delaware is known for its chickens, crabs, clams, and manufacturing of chemicals, rubber, and plastics. The Woodburn Mansion, home to the governor of Delano Delaware, is supposedly haunted by ghosts. Yeah, I've driven through Delaware many times. It doesn't take very long. It's a very short, it's one of the quickest rides. Um, obviously because it's the shortest state. <laughs> Alright, let's go on to Florida. Florida, the Sunshine State, is known for its warm, sunny weather and sandy beaches. It hosts almost 90 million visitors every year. Florida has thousands of islands and lakes. It produces almost half of the world's orange supply. Orange juice supply, I mean. And that's their state flag down there in the corner. Did you know that more than a thousand people move to Florida every day? I used to live in Florida as well. I can contest it was pretty crowded. What are they known for? Their amusement parks such as Disney World, orange farming, alligators, Cape Canaveral where they launch all the spaceships. I went there. I spent a whole day there. I suggest you go there if you're ever in Florida. It's very interesting. What cities are they known for? Jacksonville, Tallahassee, Orlando, Cape Canaveral, Tampa, and Miami. All right. Look at that. Let's move on. There's a little many more to go. Let's talk about Georgia. The capital is Atlanta. It became the fourth state on January 2nd, 1788. And its amphibian is the green tree frog. Their butterfly is the tiger swallowtail. Their fish is the largemouth bass, which is around here as well. Their fruit is peach. Their insect is the honeybee as well. And their tree is live oak. Did you know Stone Mountain is one of the largest single pieces of exposed granite known to the world? Stonewall Jackson Jefferson Davis and Robert E. Lee are carved on the face of Stone Mountain, making it the world's largest sculpture. What are they known for? Their Stone Mount Mountain carvings, their Vidalia onions, their loudmouth bass, pirates. Blackbeard the pirate lived on Blackbeard Island. Their Amicola Falls in Dawsonville. What cities are they known for? Savannah, Columbus, and of course, Atlanta. And of course, they're known for their Georgia peaches. <laughs> Georgia is the peach state. It is the last of the original 13 colonies. It is known for peaches, peanuts, pecans, and Vidalia onions, considered the sweetest in the world as far as onions goes. Historic St. Mary's is the second oldest city in the country. During the Civil War, the fall of Atlanta defeated the South. The Girl Scouts were founded in Savannah by Juliet Gordon Lowe in 1912. Coca-Cola was invented in Atlanta in 1886. Oh, that's their state flag. Did I already show you that one? <laughs> if I didn't, there it is. If I did, you saw it twice. Let's talk about Hawaii, my personal favorite state and one I wish to live in one day. It's beautiful there. Their capital is Honolulu. They became the 50th state on August 21st, 1959. They're nicknamed the Aloha State, which Aloha means hi and goodbye. <laughs> Their bird is a, a nene, a Hawaiian goose. Their flower is yellow hibiscus, which is beautiful. Their butterfly is the Kame... Oh, Lord. Hawaiians, don't kill me. <laughs> Kame Hamaya? I can't say that word. Marine mammal, humpback whale. This is their state flag. It kind of looks like the British flag. A little, little bit, doesn't it? Stop. Thousands of miles away in the Pacific Ocean lies the group of volcanic islands that make up the state of Hawaii. It's hot, tropical weather makes it a beautiful vacation place. Many people here wear flowery necklaces called 
Lays. The hula dance is created in, was created in, in Hawaii a long time ago. It uses hand motions to tell a story. Did you know how to surf? It is a common activity for people who live in Hawaii. Early kings and queens in Hawaii islands used to surf on boards in the ocean waters. What, what cities are they known for? You have Kai, Ohai, Malakai, Lani, Hilo, Maui. They're known for their coffee beans, their pineapples, their hula dancers, their hibiscus flowers. Did you know Hawaii is the only state in the na nation that grows coffee? Oh my dick. Oh my goodness. They must supply us all with their coffee. <laughs> all right, let's go on to Idaho. The capital is Boise. It became the 43rd state on July 3rd, 1890. Their bird is a mountain bluebird. Their vegetable is a potato. Their horse is the Appaloosa. And their flower is the Syringa. Their tree is a white pine. And their fruit is wild huckleberry. Did you know Soda Springs boasts the largest man-made geyser in the world? <laughs> Idaho is believed to be an Indian name. Gem of the mountains is what it means. Idaho potatoes are known for being the world's best. I can confirm that that is true. Idaho grows the most potatoes in the country, 27 billion each year. The deepest river gorge on the North American continent is Hell's Canyon at 7,900 feet deep. It's deeper than the Grand Canyon. A nearly 20 carat diamond was discovered near McCall, one of the biggest ever found in the United States. America's longest main street is in Island Park, which is 33 miles from start to end. What are they known for? Of course, their potatoes, their soda spring geysers, their horses, and their cutthroat trout. Some cities you might have heard of is Idaho Falls, of course, Boise. All right, let's go on to Illinois, shall we? Oh, wait, did I show you the state flag? That's their state flag right there. And this is Illinois' state flag, which we're about to get into right now. The capital is Springfield. It became the 21st state on December 3rd, 1818. The animal is a white-tailed deer, which are super cute. Their fruit is a gold rush apple. Their insect is also a mon monarch butterfly. Their bird is the cardinal. Their reptile is a painted turtle. I love painted turtles. Their tree is a white oak and their flower is a violet. Illinois is known as the land of Lincoln because President Abraham Lincoln spent most of his life there. In 1871, the Great Chicago Fire started in a barn destroying most of Chicago. It took many years to rebuild after this disaster. The first Ferris wheel was displayed at the World's Exposition of 1893 in Chicago. Have you ever eaten at a Dairy Queen? The first one opened in Joliet in 1840. Illinois Senator Barack Obama was elected the first African American U.S. President in 2008. What are they known for? Their large Chicago Public Library? their white-tailed deer, their monarch butterflies. The world's first skyscraper ever was in Chicago in 1885. And of course, they're painted turtles. Other cities you might have heard of besides Springfield, of course, Chicago and East St. Louis. Did you know with almost 6 million books, the Chicago Public Library is one of the 10 largest U.S. public libraries? That's a lot of books. All right, let's keep going. Indiana. The capital is Indi Indianapolis. It became the 19th state on December 11th, 1816. It is named the Land of Indians. Its nickname is the Hoosier State. The bird is the also the cardinal. The flower is the peony. I think that's how you say it. Puny. <laughs> 
Macchioni. <laughs> the pie is the sugar cream, and their motto is Crossroads of America. And there is their state flag right there. Kind of looks like a firework. Did you know Historic Park County has 31 covered bri bridges and is the covered bridge capital of the world? What are they known for? Of course, the covered bri bridges, their cardinals. The Indianapolis 500 race car. I think they mean the Indianapolis 500 as in the race that they do every year. And Johnny Appleseed. You might have also heard of Fort Wayne, which is also in Indiana. The world's most famous car race is in Indianapolis 500. It is a 500 mile race that takes place every year on a 2.5 mile track. Drivers have to race around the track 200 times. The Speedway is the largest spectator sporting arena in the world. Many people in Indiana gave help and shelter to slaves who used the Underground Railroad to become free. Almost half of all Indiana farmland is planted with corn, producing more than 20% of the United States popcorn. Nice. I love popcorn. Let's go on to Iowa. The capital is... <laughs> I can never say this right. I'm, I'm bad with Spanish words. Des Moines? Des Moines? <laughs> become the 29th state on December 28, 1846. Its nickname is the Hawkeye State. The flower is the wild rose. The bird is the eastern, eastern goldfinch. Their tree is an oak tree. Their rock is a genode. And their song is Song of Iowa. Did you know the National Balloon Museum in, in Indianola preserves more than 200 years of ballooning history? By the way, this is their state flag before I forget to show it to you. What are they known for? Their largest corn producer in the United States, the hot air balloon, farming, the world's largest strawberries, and strawberry point. They're known for other cities called Davenport and Cedar Rapids. The gently rolling landscape of Iowa is where the country changes from forest to grasslands. 90% of this land is farmland. Iowa is famous for its corn, soybeans, and hogs. Effing, effingy mounds. <laughs> effing, effing. <laughs> that sounds like a bad word. I'm not making it up. National Monument was more than 200 prehistoric, prehistoric mounds built in the shape of mammals, birds, and reptiles. The shortest and steepest railroad in the United States is in Du Bois. Herbert Hoover, the 31st president, was the first president born west of the Mississippi River. Nice. Let's move on to Kansas. The capital is Topeka. Became the 34th state on January 29th, 1861. Its nickname is the Sunflower State. Its motto is, to the stars through difficulties. The animal is the American buffalo. The reptile is the ornate box turtle. And their tree is the cottonwood. And this is their state flag. Did you know it used to be against the law to serve ice cream on cherry pie in Kansas? Oh my goodness. What are they known for? They're also honeybee farmers making honey. Dodge... City is the windiest city in the nation. They are known for their sunflowers and their buffalo. Other cities besides Topeka you might hear of or heard of is Kansas City and Wichita. The name Kansas comes from a Native American term that means people of the south wind. The geographic center of the 48 connected American states is in a Kansas pasture. Kansas is famous for sunflowers, wheat, jazz music, barbecue, tornadoes, and the story, The Wizard of Oz. Kansas City has more barbecue restaurants per person than any other city in the country. Walt Disney's first animation studio was in Kansas City. 
He fed a small mouse there that he said inspired him to create Mickey Mouse. Nice. Let's move on to Kentucky. The capital is Frankfurt. It became the 15th state on June 1st, 1792. Their motto is United We Stand, Divided We Fall. Their bird is also a cardinal. Their flower is the golden rod. Their tree is a tulip polar. Their horse is a thoroughbred. And their animal is the gray squirrel. And that's what their state flag looks like. Did you know Mammoth Cave is the largest underground cave in the world at 300 miles long? Oh my goodness. The word Kentucky is from Kentucken, or Land of Tomorrow. Kentucky is nicknamed the Bluegrass State because most of the grass has blue flowers that bloom in the spring. Bluegrass is also the name given to the state's local folk music. Daniel Boone was one of the Kentucky's famous explorers. Many settlers followed his trail. Wilderness Road, we go west. <laughs> Fort Knox is a big building that holds gold for the U.S. government. Kentucky is known for its coal mines, thoroughbred horse farms, and horse racing. The world's most famous horse race, the Kentucky Derby, has been held in, at Churchill Downs, racetrack in Louisville every May since 1875. Wow, that's a long time. What are they known for? Their big famous mammoth caves, their thoroughbred horse racing, and of course the Kentucky Derby every year. They're known for their cardinals, their bluegrass banjo. Um, also, they're known for storing our country's gold. Other cities you might have heard of is Louisville, All right, let's keep going. Let's learn about Louisiana. Ooh, my foot's asleep. Kind of moving. <laughs> All right, the capital is Baton Rouge. It became the 18th state, 18th state on April 30th, 1812. The bird is the brown pelican. The tree is the bald cypress. The flower is a magnolia. The mammal is a black bear. The insect, oh my God, is the honeybee as well. And the reptile, reptile is the alligator. This is their state flag right up here. Super cute. Can you see? Alright, did you know New Orleans is famous for jazz music and the spectacular Mardi Gras festival with its big parties and parades? What are they known for? Alligators as well. Their crawfish, the black bears, jazz music. And their big famous city, New Orleans. You might have also heard of Shreveport. The French settled in Louisiana during the 1700s. In 1803, Thomas Jefferson doubled the size of America by buying the Louisiana Territory from the French. The French influence is still seen in the state's many French names, foods, buildings, and descendants. Did you know what crawfish is? Crawfish, also known, I'm sorry, crayfish, also called crawfish or crawdads, are small freshwater crustaceans that look like lobsters. 90% of the world's crayfish come from Louisiana. Nice. Let's go to Maine. Their capital is Augusta. They became the 23rd state on March 15th, 1820. Their berry is the blueberry. Their bird is the chickadee. <laughs> I like that one. The cat is the Maine Coon Cat. And their animal is a moose. Their tree is white pine. And their insect is also the honeybee. This is their state flag right here. Can you see it? Very tiny, I know. Did you know the rocky coast of Maine is home to more than 600 lighthouses? What is Maine known for? Of course, their lighthouses, their honeybees, their blueberries, their lobster, their fishing industry. Other than Augusta, you might have heard of Portland, Maine is a big city. And Bangor. Famous for lobster caught off its rocky Atlantic Ocean shore, Maine is the largest New England state. Nicknamed the Pine Tree, P 
pine tree state. 90% of it is covered by thick woods. This doesn't leave much room for people. So Maine has the fewest people living here for any other state east of the Mississippi River. Sail Rock is the most eastern point in the U.S. The sun rises here first. Nice. Let's go on to Maryland. The capital is Annapolis. It became the seventh state on April 28, 1788. Their dog is the Chesapeake Bay Retriever. Their flower is the Black-Eyed Susan. Their bird is the Baltimore Oriole. Their horse is a thoroughbred, and their sport is jousting. Here is their state flag right there. Pretty cool. Very funky. Lots of colors. They're known for their blue crab, their Peakness thoroughbred horse races. They're known for um, creating the Star Spangled Banner song. The United States Naval Academy was founded on October 10th, 1845 at Annapolis which is also another famous city and the capital. You might have also heard this has a Baltimore as well and a Silver Springs. One of the original 13 colonies, Maryland has apple... The <laughs> Let me start this over, kids. One of the original 13 colonies, Maryland was Appalachian Mountain foothills, rolling hills, meadows, and flat farmlands. Maryland is famous for worldwide for catching its blue crab. In 1814, while watching the British bomb Fort McHenry as they tried to capture Baltimore during the War of 1812, Francis Scott Key wrote the lyrics to the Star Spangled Banner. In 1831, American, America adopted the song as its national anthem. Let's go to Massachusetts. The capital is Boston. It became the sixth state on February 6, 1788, their dog is the Boston Terrier, their cat is a tabby, their horse is the Morgan, their insect is also the ladybug, their fish is the cod, their beverage is cranberry juice, and their desert is, er, desert, dessert is Boston cream pie, which is my dad's favorite. What are, oh, here's their state flag as well, if you're wondering. What are they known for? Whale watching, their fishing industry, Cape Cod beaches, the Mayflower ship was built or landed there, I'm sorry. The world's first motorized fire truck came out of Boston as well. Other cities you might have heard of is Worcester, Springfield, and of course Cape Cod. Massachusetts is one of the first 13 colonies. It is the sixth smallest U.S. state. Massachusetts Massachusetts <laughs> was the landing place for the Mayflower ship and its pilgrims. In 1773, people held the Boston Tea Party where they threw boxes of tea into the Boston Harbor. Today, this state is home of the New England Confectionery Company, NECCO, America's oldest candy manufacturer. Nice, I love candy. Let's go on to Michigan. Here's their state flag before I forget to show it to you. Their capital is Lansing. They became the 26th state on January 26th, 1837. Their mammal is the white-tailed deer, deer as well. Their reptile is also the painted turtle. Their wildflower is the dwarf lake iris. Their fossil is the mastodon. Their fish is the brook trout. Their bird is also a robin, and their fruit is also a blueberry. What are they known for? Their white-tailed deer, their brook trout, na the nation's car capital, Motown music. Other d cities that you might have heard in Michigan are Detroit, Lansing is the capital, Grand Rapids. The state of Michigan is split into two pieces of land an upper and lower peninsula that are mostly surrounded by water. Michigan is called the Great Lake State because it borders, it borders four of the five Great Lakes. Detroit is nicknamed the Motor Town because it is the home of the U.S. car industry. The city Battle Creek is nicknamed Cereal Bowl of America 
because more cereal is made here than anywhere else in the country. Interesting. I love cereal as well. Let's keep going. I think we'll do this last page and then we'll do a part two. So stay tuned for more of the 50 states. Um, I was going to read it all in one, but I don't want to make it too long on you. So let's talk about Minnesota's. We're finishing up the M's here. The capital is St. Paul, and it became the, 32, the 32nd state on May 11th, 1858. It is nicknamed the Land of 10,000 Lakes. The tree is the Norway pine. The bird is the common loon. <laughs> the grain is wild rice. Their beverage is also milk, and their sport is ice hockey. And here is Thor, their state flag right there. What are they known for? They're fish, they have 25 million trees, their monarch butterfly, and their dairy production. Other cities you might have heard might have heard of is St. Paul and Min Min <laughs> Minneapolis. I can never say that city. Did you know the Mall of America in Bloomington is America's biggest mall? It has more stores, restaurants, and fun attractions than any other U.S. mall. The name Minnesota is from Native American words meaning land of sky blue waters. Minnesota has too many lakes to count. More than 15,000 of the lakes are over 10 acres in size. Did you know what Spam is? The famous canned meat is made in Austin. Spam was a mascot named Spammy the Miniature Pig. In the 1930s, a federal government program called the Civilian Conser Conservation Corps planted more than 250 million trees in Minnesota because so much of the land had been mined for iron ore and was stripped bare of trees. My goodness. Now they have 25 million trees plus some. Sorry, my leg is asleep. We're stretching it out, kids. Let's go on to Mississippi. The capital is Jackson. It became the 20th state on December 10th, 1817. Its bird is the mockingbird. The flower is also the magnolia. Their mammal is also the white-tailed deer. Their water foil is the wood duck. Their fish is the largemouth bass. Their insect is also the honeybee. And their beverage is also milk. And this is their flag as well. Did you know root beer was invented in Biloxi, Mississippi in 1898 by Edward Adolph Bark, Sr. I love root beer. What are they known for? The Mississippi River Boat Cruises. It's also the birthplace of blues music. Of course, they're known for their root beer and they're known for their International Checkers Hall of Fame <laughs> and their white tailed deer as well as their cotton plants and their milk production. Mississippi is fun to spell out loud. M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I. -S 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 it's very, very late, kids. Mississippi is fun to spell out loud. Can you spell it? Let's do it slower. M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I. -S 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 we all love spelling that. The name Mississippi means father of waters. Belzoni is called the catfish capital of the world. The old Spanish Fort Museum in Pas Pascola displays the world's largest shrimp. The stuffed toy known as the teddy bear was created by President Theodore Roosevelt or Teddy Roosevelt, hence teddy bears. Roosevelt would not shoot a bear during a bear hunt in Mississippi. That's how he got his Teddy nickname. I wouldn't shoot a bear either. I love bears. <laughs> Let's talk about Missouri, which I've driven through and spent some time in myself. The capital is Jefferson City. It became the 24th state on August 10th, 1821. It's nicknamed the Show Me State. <laughs> the horse is the Missouri Fox Trotter. Their animal is the Missouri Mule. Their tree is the flowering dogwood. Their musical instrument is also the fiddle. 
and their amphibian is the American Bullfrog. What are they known for? The Missouri Fox Trotter Horse, their Gateway Arch, Crawfish, and Soybeans. Did you know ice cream cones were invented at the St. Louis World I'm sorry, St. Louis <laughs> World's Fair in 1904. An ice cream seller ran out of cups and asked a waffle seller to roll up waffles to hold ice cream. They invented the waffle cone. Nice. That's their state flag. I like the traditional cone, to be honest. <laughs> the Gateway Arch in St. Louis was completed in... Why do I keep saying St. Louis? It's St. Louis. Good Lord. <laughs> was completed in 1965. It celebrates the city's role in developing the western frontier. Missouri was the headquarter for the Pony Express. It used to take six months for a letter to travel from the east coast to the west coast. To go faster, mail was carried on horseback from Missouri to California in 10 days. When the telegraph was invented, it was able to send messages faster and cheaper, which closed the Pony Express forever. People from St. Louis use more barbecue sauce than any other group in the country. <laughs> I bet. Let's go on to the last one of the night. Let's talk about Montana. The capital is Helena, or Helena, sorry. I've heard it said, said both ways. I think it's Helena, though. Became the 41st state on November 8th, 1889. Their motto is Oro Plata, Gold and Silver. Their tree is Ponderosa Pine. Their bird is the Western Meadow Lark. Their animal is the Grizzly Bear. And their fossil is the Duck-Billed Dinosaur. And there's their state flag right there for you. I know it's hard to see. It's teeny. Did you know Montana has only about six residents per square mile? The national average is almost 80 people per square mile. Not very many people. What are they known for? Miles City is called the Cowboy Capital. They have a lot of ranches and a lot of cowboys. They're known for their mining, their grizzly bears, National Buffalo Range in... It looks like mayonnaise, but I don't think that's right. And they're known for their blackhorn sheep. Other cities you might have heard of is Billings, Missoula. Montana is called Big Sky Country because you can drive for hundreds of miles and only see treeless flat land and blue skies. The northern Rocky Mountains take up western Montana. Glacier National Park is here and was created by glaciers. These moving masses of snow and ice made valleys, mountain peaks, and more than 200 lakes and streams. Today, more than 50 glaciers are still in the park. One is called the Grasshopper Glacier for the frozen grasshoppers in the ice. Because of Montana's national landscape, the state is home to all kinds of wild animals including elk, moose, bighorn sheep, mountain goats, cattle, Buffalo, Golden and Bald Eagles, and Black and Grizzly Bears. Lots and lots of bears. How very interesting. I hope you like it. Um, we will pick up the next time I um, record. We'll be starting with the ends and finishing off the states. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11 more pages. Well, how many did we read? Can you guess? I'm going to say 8. We'll count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. <laughs> so it's about the same. Hey, look at that. We didn't even plan to cut it in the middle and we got pretty close. Awesome. I hope you're enjoying this. I hope you're learning a lot. And I hope you're excited to come back and learn about the rest of the 50 states. I will see you soon, kids. You know what's coming. My lecture that you probably roll your eyes through. It's okay. <laughs> be good to your parents. Be good to your elders. Be good to other kids your age or older than you. Be good to your siblings. But most importantly, be good to yourself.
I love you all. See you next time. Bye, kids.